Yo guys, what's going on today? Today, we're going to be taking a look at Parasect. Yeah, Parasect, you know, it can be good. Uh, don't let those stats fool you. It can be good. Um, uh, since it's October and whatnot, uh, I figured we'd go for a theme of uh, do some creepy or spooky Pokemon. Ooh, um, you know. Whatever, uh, I figured I'd start off with something that's not a ghost type, because, uh, ghost types are, uh, primarily what you're gonna be getting with the spooky Pokemon theme. So, um, without further ado, we'll get on to Mr. Headcrab over here, Zombie Man, uh, Parasect. Uh, as for his EV spread, uh, we're gonna be looking at three sets, and, uh, for this one, uh, we're gonna go for a uh, very defensive base set. Uh, so uh, what you wanna do is if I can find it, they are in alphabetical order, so I don't know why I can't find it easier. We're gonna go with careful nature. And uh, we're gonna max his HP, cause you know, his HP's, well, it's 60, but I mean, hey, it covers both your bases. And uh, we're gonna go defense 160 and uh, rest special defense um it uh what it does is uh it doesn't get it exactly even but uh it uh minimizes damage because uh honestly i can't explain it to you a whole lot um but there's this great thing it's a it's a online calculator uh it uh helps you figure out uh how to best uh, how to, blah. how do you talk, um, how to best, no, how to, how to invest, invest, blah, wow, I just don't know how to word today, um, uh, it'll show you how to best invest, so that way you can take hits equally, and, uh, this is the numbers that popped out for me, um, we're gonna roll with it. Um, it it keeps it almost about the same, but it gives him a little bit more in special. Um, but either way, he's super tanky, so he'll be good. Um, so for this, uh, we're we're done with this. We're gonna go on to uh, well. First, I'll just tell you why we chose Dry Skin over here as his ability. He makes an amazing tank on a rain team. Dry Skin, if you're not familiar, I mean it tells you right here but I'll go ahead and explain it it'll heal you when it's uh, raining uh, get an eighth of your health from the rain if you get hit by a water move you get a fourth and uh, it does have the downside of making you weaker to fire so uh Parasect the only Pokemon to have a five times weakness to fire <laughs> so uh, don't get hit by a fire move that is definitely his biggest weakness and uh, it also hurts you in sun, so uh, you want to keep them out of the sun, have Politoed set up the rain and uh, keep the sunlight away. So uh, we'll move on to the moveset here. Um, Parasect is one of the few Pokemon to uh, learn Spore, so uh, you definitely want to get that on him because uh, you know it's 100% accuracy sleep powder. It's good, get it. So, uh, on this set, uh, it's primarily going to be a uh, sub seater if you're uh, familiar with that classic strategy. So, uh, we're going to give him Substitute and Leech Seed. Leech Seed. Now, Leech Seed, you are going to have to breed onto him, but, you know, it's no big deal. So, uh, what, what you're going to do here is, uh, most of the time, you're going to first turn Spore him, get him to sleep, and, uh, then, uh, after that, it's either, it's up to you whether you want to set up your sub or you want to leech seed, uh, either one. But, uh, I usually, uh, tend to, uh, set up sub first and then, uh, proceed with the leech seed. Uh, sorry about that, there's probably some, uh, bad editing going on this section because, uh, people gotta bother me while I'm trying to make my videos, you know. So, uh, you know. Sub seed, I think that's where I was at. I was talking about substituting and leech seeding and sparring them, you know. It's, it's all around, it's good. 
Spar's great for substituting and leech seeding. As for his last move slot, um, you got you got a couple options here. Um, you can go with protect, which you know it'll help you live longer. Um, you know what protect does. I don't need to explain it. You know protects you. Um, but uh, what I like to go with is um, X scissor because uh, X scissor it'll give you a way to get rid of grass types that switch in on you. Because grass types are immune to spore and uh, also immune to leech seeds. So, you know, it gives you something to get rid of those guys. Plus, you know, it's stab, it's, you know, it's his strongest power bug stab move, I believe. So, uh, you know, that's what I usually go with. And uh, you got one more option, which is uh, Seed Bomb. He gets that from the Move Tutor, of course, you know, Move Tutor, you know. We don't have in Gen 6, so uh, you're going to have to breed, or breed that in Gen 5 and uh, send him over if you want that. Unless, you know, Oris gets uh, Move Tutor, that'd be great. Uh, but anyways, that's that's all you get there. Um, Seed Bomb, it, it's, you know, it's his other stab move of choice. Uh, he gets some coverage on the rock types, which is a weakness he has, plus water and whatnot, but water's not a big deal because he'll just eat it all up with dry skin. Um, so uh, that about does it for this defensive set, except for the item, I almost forgot. I always forget to do that, or always almost forget. What you want to go with is leftovers, basically. Um, I've seen people arguing for Big Root because uh, Big Root affects Leech Seed, but uh, I want to go ahead and let you guys know Big Root is not the better option because um, while Big Root does boost the health you get back from Leech Seed by 30%, it only gives you health back if you got Leech Seed up, it just gives you more. And plus, it tends to actually give you less than if you would have had leftovers with it because um, the 30% boost just isn't enough to really, I mean it matters for sure, but uh, since Leech Seed is going off their HP, um, it it just doesn't do enough extra to uh, really give you enough to where, it, does, it just doesn't give you enough or as much as leftovers. Whereas uh, Leftovers tends to give you more up until uh, your opponent has to have basically like 500 or more HP for uh, Big Root to even matter. And don't quote me on that because I think at 500 HP, Big Root's still doing less than if you had Leftovers. So uh, just go Leftovers the only time the big root would be more helpful is maybe you run into a blissey with max HP IVs uh, and not IVs, EVs and uh, yeah that's about the only time leech seed is gonna give you back more with the big root um, and even then it's only giving you barely more than if you would have had leftovers so most of the time just just go with old lefties over here so uh that does it for uh, Subseed Parasect, which uh, is my favorite set. Just putting that out there. So we're going to move on to uh, another Parasect set. I made this one shiny, just so, you know, why not? Um, now this one is, uh, is also going to be a tanky set. And uh, what I did say dry skin's better, but if you're not running Parasect on a uh, rain team, then there's no reason to have dry skin. So uh, you can go with Effect Spore, but honestly I recommend running him on a rain team. So we're going to give him dry skin. But uh, this one, we're going to go with the same EV spread as the other one, with the careful and the HP and the defense at 160 that... Uh, I'm going to do more and figure out why exactly uh, the calculator does that, uh, but uh, I, I trust it. 
I I believe there's people who know more about Pokemon than me. So I'm gonna go ahead and trust it. Um seems a thing that a lot of people use. So uh on to the move set. Uh this one, yeah, actually let me explain what this move set's about. This is uh for more of a devil's parasect because uh he's got a real great strategy going on with the rage powder. Now rage powder, if you don't know what it does, it forces the uh, opponent to attack you instead of your teammate in a double battle. So that's real good. So uh, you know, save your teammates that are more frail. Parasect's bulky, so he's gonna be eating up attacks like uh, nobody's business. So uh, he's gonna be all good there. So um, Rage Powder is definitely a staple on here. Um, and this set's similar. Uh, you can go with Spore because Spore's always good, and so few Pokemon learn it, you can't pass it up. It's just it's. Oh, it's just amazing. Spore. Oh, yeah. Spore. So, uh, you go with that. And, uh, this, this Parasect's main thing is just, uh, Rage Powder. So, uh, it's real similar. You can just, uh, just run Protect on him because Protect's not a bad move. And, uh, you run, uh, you probably want to run, uh, one stab move on him. So either X's or Seed Bomb. So, uh, yeah, or Seed Bomb. But, uh, there's nothing much to this other than he, he Rage Powders and takes the hits mainly. He puts him to sleep if he needs to. Save himself with Protect if he needs to. And, uh, get off a stab move if he needs to. But, uh, that's about all this guy does. And uh, another thing with the, if you're not running it on a rain team, effect spore can be really good with rage powder, cause uh, you just uh, pray for some hacks there, and uh, they'll they'll be forced to hit you, so uh, they'll have a thirty percent chance of getting some uh, status. Which uh, it does uh, it does the. Uh, prevent you from spore and stuff that's already been, say, poisoned or paralyzed, but, um, it's still good. So just consider it, especially if you're not going on a rain team, then there's no reason to have dry skin. Uh, damn's bad, don't ever use it. Uh, so, it's about all you got here, and, uh, as for his item, leftovers is always an option, but, uh, this guy finds, uh, another item that he can use in uh focus sash because um while he is pretty bulky he's got some glaring weaknesses especially fire type so you know it can save you from getting one shot at, and uh especially you know when you're drawing the attention of stuff that uh or, or drawing the attention of everything. Focus Sash might just save you from getting one-shotted. And then you can take the other hit from the other guy. And uh, that is going to kill Parasect. But uh, but it uh, is going to save your teammate from getting killed. So, uh, you know, Parasect did his job. So, uh, honestly, that about does it for this set. Uh, he just likes to rage powder and uh, make everyone hate him and uh, then sponge up as many hits as he can take. Oh, uh, actually, another option on this set is uh, something I'd probably run in either the Protect slot or the X Scissor slot, uh, either one. He has access to uh, Synthesis. Synth synthesis. Now, this is also only from the Move Tutor, but it it can heal you. That's also uh, an option on this guy over here instead of that. That's that's also an uh, option there. Synthesis. It's an option. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's good. Heal yourself. It's mode tutor only, but uh, heal yourself. Also, uh, 
before I forget, um, since this is more of a doubles oriented, um, Parasect gets uh, Wide Guard via breeding, so uh, you know, it's it's Wide Guard. Um, it it protect except it uh, protects all your allies, but only from like spread moves like uh, Rock Slide or Earthquake, Surf, you know, whatever. Um, that's about all it does. Uh, white Guard's not a bad move, but uh, I personally probably wouldn't run it, but uh, just it's an option there. So uh, just consider it. So uh, we'll move on to the last Parasect set here. And this one's not one, you know, I'd particularly use, but it's not bad. Um, this one, you know, Effects bar if you're not on the rain team, dry skin if you are on the rain team, blah, if you are on a rain team, which uh, I'd recommend if you're going to run Parasect at all, run them on a rain team because that dry skin boost is just too good to pass up. But uh, this one, you're going to want to run max HP, but you're going to invest the rest into attack and uh, throw the rest in special or defense, whatever. We're going to leave that in special because he probably wants it more in special. It's not a big deal though, honestly. And uh, this one, you're either going to want to run careful as usual or, well, not careful. Um, either, uh, I don't know. This basically, this is for like a trick room team. So uh, Brave. Brave is honestly probably what you want, but I suppose you could go a little more defensive in whatever defense you want, and minus your speed, too. And this this is basically for a trick room, and uh, I'm not I'm not a big trick room team person, but, uh, you know, I just, uh, I want you guys to be aware that it's an option, and uh, since you're not going super defensively, um, you probably just want Focus Sash, you probably don't want to even bother with Leftovers, but, you know, if you really want to, you can go Leftovers, but I'd probably Focus Sash. And, uh, since you're going more offensive, um, you can X Scissor and Seed Bomb, get both your stabs, um, remember this is Move Tutor only, but hey, you know, it's good, um, and honestly, you can't pass up Spore. It's just too good. And uh, last move, um, you know, any of the other things, you know, Synthesis, uh, Protect, you know, whatever. Um, he can get more coverage in other moves, you know, but you don't want to you don't want to have all kinds of running uh, blah. You don't want to have too many uh, moves on him or whatever. Uh, one option he does get is uh, Rototiller, which uh, it'll raise the attack and special attack of all grass types, and he's a grass type, so it'll raise the attack of him along with uh, any uh, teammates he has. So um, it's an option. Uh, he certainly doesn't special attack and he's only getting a plus one so it's not a huge boost it'd be more for helping out the other guys than it would be just for him but uh he would also benefit from it is uh what i'm trying to get at he benefits from it but the main reason you would run this is to also help your other teammates out so uh just keep that in mind and uh, you know it's an option but uh, otherwise, um, probably protect its synthesis or whatever. Um, and honestly, that about does it for Parasect. Um, I recommend you give them a try. I'm currently uh, breeding one on my X and Y. Or my Y, because that's all I have. I don't have X. But, uh, you know, give it a try, guys. Uh, as always, uh, there's a comment section, there's a like button, and there's a uh, little subscribe button there that you could click if you wanted to. So uh, just uh, reminding you that those are there.
So, uh, see you guys next time. Oh, and, uh, comment about, uh, what Pokemon you want to see me do next. Um, preferably, uh, comment something spooky and creepy, because, uh, you know, it's, it's October, it's getting around that Halloween time, so, uh, we're going to be trying to do some of those types of Pokemon. So, uh, you know, comment your favorite creepy Pokemon. And, uh, it don't have to be creepy in and of itself. It could just be something you find creepy for whatever reason. You just really hate spiders. So, you, you know, spider, you know, whatever. Comment whatever you want. So, uh, see you guys next time. Bye.